Hi, I'm Nada Chiara and I am at the 12th Florence Biennale 2019. I am representing both Kuwait, India and the UK as well. So it's a real privilege to be here. Today I'm presenting my series which is uh, based on Da Vinci's Ideal City Plan. Da Vinci 500 years ago created the Ideal City in the Renaissance where there was uh, the bubonic plague. I think which sort of Italy lost around 30 million people approximately and Da Vinci's idea was to create a city that was built upwards rather than spread out because historically all the Italian cities were more spread out rather than built upwards. So as you can see in all my art, if you, if you see it from left to right, left is what Da Vinci planned. It was like an ideal city with maybe one tower which was the church and another tower which was a clock tower. Apart from that, he visioned like the lower grounds would be where all the transportation took place. The ground floor would be where all the commercial sort of uh, events took place like the bank or the shops and so on. And the first and second would be living quarters. And what we did is because he was a pioneer in urban sort of cities, we copied him. And what we did is we built cities upwards as you can see from all the paintings over here. All the cities have been built upwards on the right as we go, we keep on losing sort of everything in our cities. So on the left, on the first one is a yellow painting that you see. That is our natural source of energy that we lost. Just because we built the cities upwards, the lower ground and the people on the ground levels do not really receive the natural sunlight. Then we go on to fauna. Again, we have destroyed the fauna. And then we go on to the blue painting, which is about oceans. We have reclaimed land and we have built upwards. And again, we have lost, we have sort of lost the whole concept of what Da Vinci was trying to create. And to my left over here, you see the red cities where we have lost the passion by sort of following Da Vinci without realizing that we have lost our passion and true essence. And then the purple painting is where we've lost our spirituality. It's dwindling. We don't know what we are doing completely. And then the black is the cosmos. In a real world, we should be guided by the stars and the moon and so on in the night and maybe a few lights. But instead, we've got tall towers in urban cities which are lit all night long. And basically, they have, just, they have sort of created an imbalance in the ecosystem on the ground level with the flora and the fauna and with the oceans and with the birds and the bees and the animal and the humans. So it's completely sort of taken away what Da Vinci was trying to do. His idea was to create pollution free cities, wide roads, eco-friendly. We have created this massive towers saying that it is what our pioneer sort of said to us, but we have basically misconstrued Da Vinci's legacy. Hence the title of the series is called A Legacy Misconstrued. 500 years down the line, we have copied Da Vinci so much, but we have gone back to creating the same problems that he was trying to avoid. We have got pollution, we have got global warming, we have got chemical radiation. In whichever way you look at, we have created a lot of pollution and a lot of issues throughout. I also wanted to talk about my sculpture over here. This is a, a sculpture which is made with recycled or upcycled materials. This is uh, made out of driftwood. This piece of driftwood uh, log was found in Canary Wharf in the Thames River. It had been floating for 15 to 20 years and it was reclaimed and savoured. This driftwood sculpture is so special because it's got a natural telescopic lens and if you see from both sides, everything in the sculpture has been recycled. If you view through this, which is the lens, you can see a natural city and you can see the whole changes that Da Vinci has made and um, the base is made out of a steel plate. Again, you can see what everything is upcycled and recycled, trying to go back to nature and trying to go back to rescued materials. It's basically making a statement about not losing what Da Vinci was originally trying to create. So I'm very thankful to Florence Biennale for giving me the opportunity to come and exhibit and to express myself. Thank you. Grazie mille Florence Biennale.